Navigating the phrasal maze. Mastering setback in English. Hello language enthusiasts. Welcome back to our series on phrasal verbs. Today, we're going to focus on a common but often misunderstood phrasal verb, setback. We'll also tackle common mistakes people make while using it and, of course, how to avoid them. Setback is a versatile phrasal verb in English. It primarily means to delay something or someone, or to cost someone a certain amount. For instance, the project was set back by two weeks, means the project was delayed. And, the trip set me back $500, implies the trip cost $500. Now let's dive into some common mistakes. One common mistake is using, set back, when you mean to use, set up, set down, or, set aside. Each of these has a distinct meaning, so ensure you're picking the right one for your context. Another mistake is inappropriately using, set back, in the passive voice. Remember, when you use, set back, in the passive voice, there needs to be an agent causing the delay or cost. The key to avoiding these mistakes is understanding the meaning and correct usage of setback. Practice using setback in sentences, ensuring you're conveying a delay or cost. For instance, instead of saying, the rain set back, say, the rain set the match back. In passive voice, always include an agent. Rather than saying, was set back by two weeks, specify what was set back. A better sentence is, the project was set back by two weeks. There you have it. A quick guide to using, set back, correctly in your English conversations. It may be a small phrasal verb, but mastering its use can greatly enhance your language skills. Keep practicing, and you'll find yourself becoming more confident and adept in navigating the maze of phrasal verbs. Thanks for tuning in, and as always, happy learning!